What's up, YouTube? It's JB Thick Dick here with uh, another beer review. Tonight we have uh, yet another English beer. Getting to be quite a fan of these English beers. Uh, tonight we have one from uh, the St. Peter's Brewery out of, uh, where is it from? Either Bungay or Suffolk, England. I'm pretty sure they do shit in both areas. Uh, they're an interesting brewery. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about them in a second. We're doing uh, the Golden Ale tonight. I, uh, it was recommended me from this uh, beer lady in the store. She seemed to know her shit. She just said it's a good all-around beer. And I've been liking these Golden Ales for a while now. The maltiness is badass. But, um... Yeah, uh... The brewery at St. Peter's is housed in, uh, former agricultural buildings. It's cool. They have, like, you know, large cobblestone towers and shit like that. Crazy stuff, but, um... They became derelict, but were offered a superb site for both working... For both a working brewery and a visitor's attraction. They're really pretty awesome. I'll put a, uh link to their website um from the uh little thing from them it says today the brewery produces real ale for over 90 percent or over 90 percent of this is bottled and the remainder is being cast with over half their bottle volume being exported they uh do 83,000 pints per week they say <laughs> pretty interesting, but, um, something I'll, we'll just get on to the, uh, uh, pouring, um, they recommend pouring it into a, uh, very blasphemous Coors Light tumbler or shaker glass, of course, without the Coors Light, that's my fault, uh, it says a, uh, 500 milliliter bottle, or one pint, they say, uh, it's called the Oval Bottle. It's a uh, 500 milliliter copy of one from Gibbstown near Philadelphia, which dates from circa 1770. It was produced for Thomas Gerard, an innkeeper with a uh, Tidewater Inn on the Delaware River. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of a greenish brown color. I've never really seen one like it. Got the uh, Ultimo bottle opener. Just a regular Bic lighter, the strong kind. And I was wanting to mention something about that. Like, I have a few other ones, like for instance, this, and y'all have seen my, uh, my knife with the bottle opener on it. I always find that those tend to mangle bottle caps, and if you're into preserving them, this is what you need to have, man. I'm going to show y'all how to do this real quick. There's tons of YouTube videos, but I'm just going to shed a little light on it. You grab it up real hard like you know give yourself not really enough space at all to where you can barely see it just be strong with it get it in there like that and if you're strong with your will you won't fuck it up hopefully I can be and it helps to boom perfect cap that smells like beer now for the uh, sweet pour, it's got kind of a gluggy pour from this uh, style bottle, a uh, thick foamy head, nice golden color, not yellow, pretty deep, it's a, it's a good looking beer, the head's thick, um, Kind of looks soapy in the uh, bottle. I don't know if y'all could see that. I got a network of bubbles going on there. It looks like honeycomb. But uh, on the nose, you get some uh, some hot bitterness. And uh, I kind of get a little bit of citrus note in there. Um, and definitely some uh, warm maltiness. But that's it on that. Cheers. Mm. That's a pleasing beer. It's very warming. Um, it's very uh, 
very malty, kind of a, there's a slight, slight hot bite, not much, but just enough to kind of balance out that maltiness. Uh, you could definitely see where they were going. I kind of get notes of honey in there. As far as uh, heft, it's not very heavy at all, like your standard uh, Big 3 type, it's only 4.7 ABV. And uh, as far as food pairings, they say um, spicy or cheese, you know, like Pepper Jack, Monterey Jack, what have you. Uh, sharp, blue, cheddar. Meat, they say fish and selfish, so you're like, you're lighter shit. No, it's a very good beer. There's even some roastiness in it, which I, uh, I'm enjoying. Uh, it's kind of designed for session drinking, you know. It's it's a it's a golden ale. Mostly they're just saying, this is beer. Uh, you know, best for sitting in the, uh, in the sweet pub, hashing out the day-to-day, -day, knocking back with a nice tumbler or an English pint. Can't get my hands on one yet. Which, if y'all know of anywhere in my area that has a uh, sweet English pints, let me know. I've been looking to procure one. Also, accept donations. But, I'm going to give this a thumb up on my scale of a 1 to 100. I'm going to say, this is a, it's a good beer. I'd give it, you know, in its area, and would I buy it again? I, I think I would buy it again. It wasn't too expensive. It was, uh, it's a nice quality beer. This is like... If you like the taste of, like, you know, Budweiser, Bud Light, uh, Red Stripes, things like that, I realize it's a different style, but, like, you know, you know, take a, take a little step up and hit up the St. Peter's because it's, it's in that vein, but it's more, it has more flavor. You'll find it's more pleasing, and I definitely recommend it. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with a, uh, I'm going to give it an 85, you know. In its style, it's a really good example of just what beer is. But, that's it. I'm JB Thick. More reviews coming your way, as always. You'll take care of yourselves.